What's good guys, back with another video. I just got out of class and I took a test. Um, definitely failed it. Kind of a little bit of a reason why I'm kind of making this video right now. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a talking video, a little bit of a rant about Stony Brook right now. So if you guys don't want to hear it, I understand. But like I said before in the past, my YouTube, my YouTube channel really just lets me a lot of share my opinions and let me talk to the camera a little bit, get some things off my chest and, and yeah, I just enjoy doing it. And here's my opinion about the school and everything, about my whole college situation, living on campus, all of that. And I'll be quite honest with you guys, this is going to be very biased in, in a biased terms of not for Stony Brook. So if you guys are attending Stony Brook, sorry to hear this. This is how I feel about it though. I'm going to be honest. Let's get into the video. The first thing I would like to say is that my college journey is not your college journey. Everyone's college journey experiences, they're all going to be different based off your hobbies, your major, um, your transfers, stuff you transferred in from. It's all going to be different and that, the reason why I'm making this video is just to share my story so, so you guys can get a little bit of insight of what things can possibly be like in college. So another thing that I want to talk about is what I'm going to be doing after college. So as many of you guys know, once you hit about that sophomore, junior, senior age, you're going to be like, all right, internships. Everyone, that's all people talk about is internships at Stony Brook. Nothing else. They talk about school, internships. That's all. I feel like it's so dead, in my honest opinion. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, which is, it's a great thing to have an internship and everything. But I feel like if you don't have an internship, if your grades aren't super high, if you don't have a specific plan that you have after college, I feel like it's pretty hard. And that's kind of the situation I'm in right now. Because I'll be honest with you guys, I would love to make YouTube videos for a living. Um, I think many people would. I think many people would love to make money on social media. But to do that is very, very difficult. And you really have to put a lot of time in. Unless you're something spectacular or unless you're like super good looking or you're just like a girl that like shows her butt and her boobs on like Twitter or Instagram or something like that. Unless you're doing something like that, it's pretty hard to make a name for yourself. I'll be very honest with you. But if you do, um, the lifestyle is amazing. You work on your own time. Um, you don't have a boss, you're your own boss, of course, and it's kind of one of those things where if you put the effort into it, you're going to receive 100% of what you put into it, right? Um, but that's the other thing too, like if I'm in school and I'm in studying all these classes, not doing what I want, um, it's definitely taken away from YouTube and vice versa. If I'm making all these YouTube videos like I am right now, then I'll probably be studying more. So it has all these trade-offs, right? And where I get to my point of just like life around campus is I just feel like there's not much to do. Um, unless you're like working out, playing basketball, or if you're in like a fraternity or sorority going to parties like that. I mean, other than that, I really don't think college is that productive. Um, and yes, you guys are gonna be like, oh wow, you're just not, you don't think college is productive just because you can't play basketball at the rec? Yes, 100%. But another thing is I really don't think that being in college or being in Stony Brook really teaches you things like it doesn't really teach you work environments it doesn't teach you how to work with a team although they try to but it doesn't um they just cheat honestly the only things that I've learned at Stony Brook is really how to cheat I met some pretty cool friends and everything but like most of them are leaving or they're out because I'm gonna be a semester late and everything but I guess what I'm trying to really say is I just feel like I have a really creative personality and I just don't see the point of being in classes and I know I know for a fact many of you guys believe that too but it's scary to think about like, well, damn, what am I going to do then? Like, am I really going to make money off social media? I haven't made any money off of it yet. So how, like, am I just going to start making it soon? But if you do have that vision, and I feel like I do have that vision too, but I'm still on the fence of like, should I really do it or not? But I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that out. But for my future plans, I'm planning on next semester, taking only online classes, working full time somewhere, or doing one of my hobbies, something like this. And I'm just gonna grind it out, see what the opportunities come my way. Yeah, see what opportunities come my way. And honestly, I'm just trying to switch up my lifestyle a little bit differently now. Now that I'm not like so focused, lasered in focus into sports. Like honestly, yeah, I go to school and everything, but like my mind is still like on sports, working out, jumping, dunking, all that stuff. I'm still gonna be on that, but I just need my body to heal up a little bit. I need some time, and I'll be back on that for sure. So if I, I know a lot of you guys follow me for my channel for my jump series, but like I'll be back on that. I promise you. I just need to get my body right. You need to get my like my career life, my financial life right. And I'll be back on that, I promise you. That's not going anywhere. But like I said before, I think I just need something changing in my lifestyle right now. And so I'm really trying to take this YouTube thing serious. Like I'm trying to post more videos. I'm trying to get into different food challenges, all that stuff. Like this is fun for me. Like right now, I'm having mad fun talking to the camera because I feel like I get to be myself. I don't have to be in some school environment just sitting there. 
like this and everything like pretending to care and honestly i don't even pay attention in class i would just sit in class waste time go go back to my room study it just to fail a test like come on like that's such a waste of time and i've had this conversation with so many different people and now that you guys get to hear it i just want to know your opinions on it because like, i know I, I literally struggle with this every day thinking about like damn what am i doing in college like what am i actually doing here and a lot of you stony brook students honestly getting into the stony brook is a little bit more collegiate it's a little bit harder it's a little bit more challenging because you need some pretty good grades but i know when i was in in community college forget it nobody wanted to be there everybody was there just because it's the only school they can get into and there's so many creative minds in community college but they just don't know what to do with it and i, I just think that youtube is a great platform and is exactly why i'm going to still make videos so um yeah sorry about this rant i know you guys have a lot of bunch of questions about stony brook and everything and that's great just ask them on youtube instead of dming me on instagram because it's just harder i mean it's not it's just harder but it's just cooler to see on instagram i'll be honest with y'all but this is the end of the video make sure to like comment and subscribe i have a ton of content ready for y'all and just stay tuned so i'll catch you guys in the next video